Hello everyone, and greetings from Christ's Church Rye. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, and I am sitting on the floor at the back of the church in front of the big wooden cross we use for our Good Friday service. I'm going to be taking a brief hiatus from these daily video messages until next Tuesday in order to enter into these holy days of Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, the Great Vigil, and Easter Sunday. And then I'm going to take Monday off. <laughs> but in the meantime, I invite you to participate in these services, even if they're not part of your, your regular Easter routine. Uh, we have taken what I think are the most significant portions of these services and created briefer online worship opportunities and offered um, some interesting music choices, I think, um, from members of our community and some, some visuals and some um, lighthearted ways of looking at these stories. And I, I hope also some, some moving um, uh, invitations into our Lord's passion and resurrection. So, one thing you might think about is the veneration of the cross. This is a, a piece of our Good Friday service that is still pretty new to this community, um, and it is about us drawing near to have an encounter of some kind with a symbol that is a sign of um, Christ's humiliating public execution, and more importantly for us, the symbol of new life, of victory over death, of the extent to which God goes in order to love us and save us and reconcile with us and make us one. And if you have a cross at your home, a piece of jewelry or a a cross hanging on the wall or something on your shelf, or if you just have two butter knives, you want to put one on top of the other and just allow that, that symbol, that pattern to be part of your Holy Week worship this year. Um, I invite you to do that. Your music video today is um, a gift from Shandor. He has been experimenting with a new online recording app. And um, I just, I wanna leave you with a little piece of scripture from the Gospel of John. It's one I find particularly meaningful, especially during this Holy Week. So it's John chapter 15, verse 16, and it goes like this. Jesus told the disciples, you did not choose me. Remember, I chose you and put you in the world to bear fruit, fruit that will not spoil. As fruit bearers, whatever you ask the Father in relation to me, he gives you, but remember the root command, love one another. Tomorrow night, we will hear that command, the new commandment that Jesus gives his disciples to love one another as I have loved you. And so in love, I thank you for watching and God bless you.